How did you do it? I asked them and they did it. I just asked them nicely. Now, we don't ask sheep, dear. We tell them what to do. But I did, Mom. They were really friendly. Maybe Rex might, you know, be a little more friendly if I had a talk with him. No, no, no. I think you better leave that to me. Rex, I know it was hard for you today, watching all that happening, but surely it's not worth all this misery. Please, dear, not on such a beautiful night. You put these ideas into his head, two-faced traitorous <laughs> A dark cloud had descended on the valley and the pig felt that the troubles were all his fault. But he was certain that he knew how to put things right again. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. But I, 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 I think all this trouble... <laughs> well, it's not distemper. Can't be rabies. Must be the hormones. What about... Poggett's notion, the dog being jealous of the wee pig. Oh, I don't see that myself. No. So what should we do? Well, you can keep him locked up. Or, snip, snip, I can do it Tuesday. No. Or Wednesday. Hoggett doesn't want the dog operated on. He's a breeding dog. Well, now, I can sedate him, of course, but he'll be useless as a working dog. 